back to the desktop of my new Raspberry Pi 5. After a few hours of working with Linux Air Combat, I've optimized it. I actually installed a new alpha test version 9.61 and I've got it running full screen in 720p uh, high definition and with optimized uh, settings for better graphics and sound. I want to show what that looks like. Let's fly Network Battle 3, which is the simplest of our online battles. And you can see right now I'm flying for the blue team in a Grumman F6F Hellcat. And I'll be opposed by various, looks like a, a great group of players. Right now, there are four replay blokes on the red team that will be trying to capture or shoot my blue team airfield. I need to defend it. Let's uh, not bog down too much, in, too much uh, instruction. Here's my F6F Hellcat. This is a highly regarded airplane from the United States Navy of World War II. And uh, I'm now flying over my own airfield. And I've got my radar there such that I can zoom my radar range in. See those red dots? The red things are enemy replay blokes. There's one of them. Replay 3, I can see in the lower left corner of my cockpit. He's at 3,000 feet altitude, 3,200. So I'm going to give myself more emergency power. I'll try to climb up there. And intercept him, zooming in my radar range a little bit now. There, now I can just see him. See him up there? He's got a red frame around him because he's been selected as my target. I'm still a little low and slow to try to take him on, but I would try to uh, try to get up and capture him. See what he's doing. He's still 700 feet above me. But he's coming down. All right. If he comes down, I can probably catch him. I've got warning emergency power on. I'm going to zoom my radar range in a little more better resolve the close indifferences. You can see he's making looks like lazy circles around my blue airfield. You can see that on the radar, the blue the blue uh, diamond on my radar screen is my own airstrip back there. He makes a move on it. I gotta cut him off and try to shoot him down. I'm glad he's going low. I didn't have a chance to overtake him. Picking up a lot of speed. He's a P-38. They're hard to hit because they're small and he's actually faster than me. I may have trouble getting close enough to get a hit on him. P-38s are hard for an F-6 or a Hellcat to catch. I'll try it. Long range shots. Really too far away for me to hit him. we will turn on and target something else so I can get a little more realistic looking. Oh, okay. Looks like he's making a rocket run. He's going to fire his rockets and then head home. Maybe I can cut him off on his way home. Shooting at him is like spraying water out of a garden hose. These guys are hard hit because they're a little bit faster than they run away. Yeah, I damaged him. All right, I got him. That's what that's like. I'm going to go ahead and land back at my own airstrip then. And there's my airfield right ahead of me. I'm going to slow down by putting my nose to the sky, making some violent turns. With uh, this a barrel roll, I'm going to now drop my, I'm slow enough now I can drop my flap strap. Flaps minus three, flaps down to level four, drop my landing gear. And I'm going to line up with the end of the runway. I want to be going about 100 miles an hour when I hit the end of the runway. I'm a little slow right now, but I'll be okay. This airplane has nice docile handling. Throttling back. Ooh. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. No, not a very great landing, but there I am. That's what it's like to fly this on a Raspberry Pi 5, and you can see the graphics are perfectly adequate. And I mean, they're really quite nice. I have a great view of everything, of all the action going on here. I'm very, very pleased with the way this Raspberry Pi 5 handles this powerful uh, flight simulator, Linux Air Combat, and this is great. That is all.